This video is made for mature audiences. Parental discretion is strongly advised. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Hope everyone's had a good time since my last promo. And today we're bringing you, you must build a boat. Um, now, if anybody's seen, as you can see by the, uh, the little bubble on the other side of the screen, this is the same developer that made 10 million in another game that I did uh, earlier. And the premise for You Must Build a Boat is the same, by the way. Um, uh, you Must Build a Boat is the same thing. It's the sequel to 10 million. You travel the world in a boat. Um, dungeons are... Well, there's a map to this game, similar to like the dungeon in uh, 10 million. This that has actually like a world map, but the dungeons themselves are randomly generated and um instead of you just being in, locked in a room and trying to break your way out you're actually building a boat building a crew and um when like you said the mechanics are all the same you just like it's a little bit more rpg-ish in nature so plan on doing this for roughly about 30 minutes because again it's a very short game nothing needs to be played for a long period of time now, I have played it off a couple times. There's an option to make new games. Uh, and of course, you know, to start over again. I've got everything pretty much maxed out here. Music I've got turned down because the music is actually pretty loud in this game too. But uh, we're going to start a new game just so you guys can see it from scratch. New game, confirm. So... You start off with, you know, uh, you start off with a few different things. You've got like gold, you have uh, physical, mental, and then there's a thing, I, I'm assuming like it's silver or something. Um, so yeah, you start off with this tiny little boat. It's just you and a couple of like little crewmates. Um, and yeah, you have to gradually make the boat bigger. So. Uh, when you start the map, you get the danger level and the treasure quality. And then you can add the quest for it. So I usually just add all of them. So it's okay, like, hey, single step, learn to play. So begin run. And it's going to go through the same thing that the previous game, 10 million, did. So, you know, the same thing applies. You want to just keep matching stuff and try to um, do as much damage as you can. And you want to match the the mind and the muscle icons here as quickly as you can to collect resources and it's the same thing you don't want to sit around too long make a match even if it doesn't make sense now shields apply too same as the previous game and like i said most all the mechanics are exactly the same it's just a you know a different version uh it's a different like it's, it's a different world um kind of I don't know if it's actually the same character or not. They never actually specify in the game notes if it's the same character. It just happens to be, you know, running around different. But all the matching rules apply, you know, three, four, or five uh, in a row matches. The more you do, the better. Now, there's also a thing with this game where it doesn't give you the ability to save items like the other game does. You actually have to earn that. So it's a little bit of a different uh, take on that particular aspect of the game. But yeah, the things like the food are the same too. If you eat food, you push yourself to the right and you want to keep yourself with me pushed to the left. Oh boy, here we go again. I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, like I said, what I did right there where I kind of just sat there and not doing anything, that's like the worst thing you want to do. You want to try to do something. You see, even if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, sometimes just randomly just sh shifting around will get you a match when you don't expect it. See, like right now, I'm actually doing pretty good because everything's matching very quickly. You see, even if it don't make a whole lot of sense, keep doing it. And as you match, um, 
instead of the items appearing in your inventory, they appear on the board, and you can use it like that bow and arrow right there. And then the same thing, after you get done, you don't lose, you win, because you always get something out of it. Now, there are instructions that play when you first play it, and dialogues and stuff, it doesn't show because I played through it once. By the time you showed up, and then you hire, instead of like uh, unlocking uh, rooms, you hire people or find them, and then it does this every time you collect the character and you see your boat gets bigger. And then you can visit the new people and then do this stuff. So like this upgrade here requires some of that silver and then you have these upgrades. And you have to click on this a lot so you can, when you upgrade, you know, just same thing. You get your weapons stronger, you get your magic stronger, etc, etc. But you don't start with everybody right away, so... And then you go back and do the quest again. So it's a pretty straightforward, uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward. I said again, this game was on mobile uh, a long time ago, so it's been around for a good length of time. By no means a new game at all. And then you do collect items. Like I said, I collected the jade there. It's not going to give me anything for it just yet. And actually, I have to earn the way to unlock it later. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm having a moment here where I can't find anything again. Ay ay ay. There we go. I said the resources don't come nearly as fast as they did in 10 million. You actually have to kind of work for them a little bit harder. In one way that's good, in another way it's like it's just crud because that means you can't progress yourself as quickly as you would have liked. I got whipped. <laughs> but then, so yeah, it's like it's defeat, defeat a character and stuff like that. The difference with this is, like, as you do certain things, it gives you different treasures. So, like, this one unlocks uh, capture, so you can recruit these monsters later, and they just give you perks. So instead of just, like, all your perks coming straight from your weapons and stuff, you get the right to use um, the monsters, but just not right away, of course, because you have to unlock the way to use them. Yeah, in the meantime, you want to build up your sword. Unfortunately, it's kind of expensive. This is one of the things about this game. In some senses, it's a better game. In some senses, it's a worse game because... Uh, because it's, it's limited and it's more limited in some respects. The matching system does move faster though, so there is that. <coughs> so you can actually make matches while it's making matches. If 
that makes sense. Yeah, the hardest part is actually trying to find everything so you can keep making matches, especially like when you're in intermissions like this. You want to keep making matches no matter what. see anything here it's like it's like the game doesn't want to give me anything I can use so I'm having to like scrounge around looking for something Kill the dragon. Damn. <laughs> I'm usually able to do that. And the bad thing is you can't replay levels, so once you're done with like the treasures, like you can't replay stuff, so while collecting the treasures the way I've been doing some good things, like sometimes it like hurts you. And then you pick up characters like this. And he just basically tells you about stuff so you have knowledge. Of things you can go back and look at it and every time you get a character it does this I think this is annoying I think that's a bad design but you know so, yeah, so he tells you about everything that you've run into hey, you want to keep upgrading your weapon at the start because it's about the most important thing And then when you get to a certain point, then it says all your quests are complete and only gives you the option to hit this arrow. You can barely see it under my header, but and then it does this number with the ship. So instead of rowing, everybody jumps and progresses to the next area. And then you, like I said, you have this little overworld map here like this. And it tells you how long it took you to complete that particular part, so it's like, okay, up to that point it took you 10 minutes. And then there's a dialogue here saying, hey, we can't get any further, we're stuck, and it's like, well, we have to go recruit more people. And then you get to the next level and you do everything again. And then you have chests like this that are like, um, it has like, you have to do certain things, you have to match certain tiles. It's a special lock. And when you do it, you get like one of the big items, like one of the major items in the game. So there's a little bit of a progression thing going there. It took me too long, but I still got everything. When you get the big chest, you have to click on them repeatedly until you get the item. The first one I get an idle. Multiplier tiles, and then break, and I get another 
monster. Now, the monsters are supposed to be generated randomly, so, like, you might not see the same one every time. Now I don't even have enough money to upgrade my weapon, so, oh well. <laughs> Defeat an enemy with the fireball spell. So as long as I never use the fireball spell, I can keep repeating this. So this is kind of a kind of a way to get around it. You can actually kind of like fudge the game a little bit so you don't ever pass a certain part of it if you don't want to. You can farm it a little bit. Especially if you're looking for resources. find anything I'm like I'm looking I can't find it so yeah if you don't get any of the the quest uh, targets and you just get a try again which is probably the best thing I'm trying to find all these matches. So I'm like a little hyper focused here. Intermission. So it says I opened the I opened the chest, but I like I said I avoided the fireball thing. And this one here, you just slide this. So there's like they put like little mini mechanics in here, and I picked up my first piece, piece of silver. So now I can upgrade my um, weapon using the silver if I want to. I don't know if I have the money for it though. Nah, I still I need 300, so I'm gonna hold on to it. And so as long as I never do the fireball thing, I can play this as long as I want. Okay, so there's a little bit of a cheese. Now it says I need to beat it with the fireball, which means if I have a bow like I do right now, I can use the bow instead. And kill stuff with it.
Trying not to stand still too long and still find everything I'm looking for. That's another way to get rid of the fireballs if you don't want to use them, just cast them when you're opening a chest. <laughs> because I killed something off screen. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> and this is the magic person. And this guy's name is literally Silver. I think this is annoying when they do do this, but I mean that's just you know them saying, "Hey, you made some progress." So So yeah, we're going to upgrade my sword. I'm not going to worry about the um the magic staff. I like said it's actually um Defeat the swarm enemy before it deals any damage and lasts for 90 seconds. Now the swarm enemy is that kind of like black blob looking thing. getting any weapons. I didn't get any weapons that time to really roll, so... He says, it's good for my resources, though, because I could pick up more of these resource tiles, which is kind of what I'm aiming for. I still want to kill things, but I'm like trying to pick up resources because, like I said, it's a lot harder in this particular game to get the resource tiles. doing the matches too like when it starts cascading it's almost you almost have to like struggle to keep up with it I think that's the hardest part is just like keeping up with the board once it starts cascading on you
Oh, come on! <laughs> hey, I definitely beat the, uh, the rewards there, and it tells you how far you went, too, so... The, be the advantage is lasting longer because you can collect more treasures and stuff. And this one gets me a new person. So this guy here lets you use the monsters that you've accumulated. And you must build a boat. See, all the, um, the mental and physical that you've picked up is uh, what you use to use his thing. So here, first one says you can recruit plus 20% on the food, so any food you eat in the dungeon will have a bonus. And then the Pharaoh lets you find more gold now. I have no more mental, but now my spells do more damage. And yeah, because I don't have enough mental, I can't recruit the next monster. But I can recruit this one because I have the physical. And then I have 10% more time to deal with the traps that show up. And we'll go work on our weapon again. And you see, it gets expensive pretty fast. And then we'll go on to the next area. And everybody jumps to row the boat. Except for the two guys up front. Things like the pilot and the navigator. So yeah, that took me... So yeah, now the game says I've taken about 25 minutes altogether. We anchor. Now it says collect 20 power and find a hammer horn. I said again the same the it always applies don't like uh don't get caught sit, standing and staring too long just try to find a match even if it's not an attack or anything because you clear the other tiles off the board and that'll help you do other stuff there goes a trap you make the match on the trap and it prevents it from hitting you Otherwise, you got to deal with whatever peculiar effect it has. didn't get that one. So the hammer horn is an item that every once in a while um, with the cooldown it has like if you get pushed down to the end it pushes you back up and does like crazy amount of damage basically like a desperation attack yo fart how's it going brother welcome so yeah, the mechanics are pretty straightforward like so compared to 10 million like i said some parts of it are actually pretty cool some parts of it are kind of annoying <laughs> 
I can't do anything, so... We'll do one more. So disarm a trap and point and perform double matches. Uh, getting caught looking here again because I'm like, where's all the matches at? <laughs> Like I said, sometimes stuff just falls in your lap, other times you really have to hunt for it. Sorry about that. That's my, uh, my timer that I set. <laughs> It's kind of annoying sometimes when you can't find the match you want. You're just sitting there spinning everything else like, Come on, give me something I can use! <laughs> I'm probably going to die here. No, maybe not. Hey, right, somehow I survived that. I'm just like spinning around trying to find the matches right now. It's like, I know they're there. I just have to find them. There we go. So like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, it was originally a mobile game, so it was very easy to play. It's a one-handed game, pretty much. You can just play with the mouse. In fact, it even tells you that in the uh, instructions when you first start. It's like, you can just play this with the mouse. Success is attained through an iron defense. So yeah, this one lets you upgrade your shield so you can You have my hammer <laughs> And then of course the uh, bouncing so Okay, so like I said very simple Compared to 10 million it graphically is better it moves better. Um, that little transition every time you get a person is annoying because it shows the game title again. It's like, yes, we know what game we're playing. Stop doing that. Um, the resource collection in this game is a lot slower than 10 million, so I think it's actually worse because of that. And also, um, the, the fact that you can't replay levels where you have to intentionally like fail the quests or never take them. Um, I don't think it'll actually let you play if you don't take a quest, so. I mean, I like the fact that there's more progression, there's more of an RPG feel to it. Um, but I recommend it, yeah. I mean, for, for what we got, like for how much the game is actually worth. Uh, yeah, it's like, what, $4.99? So yeah, I mean, $4.99 you play it the one time. You'll get your money's worth out of it. Is it replayability? Only if you want to try to figure out how to do stuff better, if you want to figure out if you can cheese it or something, but they like said the game's progression is fairly straightforward. There is a new game plus, like there's a hard hard mode you can get after you beat it. 
and depending on how you accomplish certain things like the game has um, other unlocks for it but this is the final product of the game so don't ever expect to see it upgraded like I said it hasn't been it hasn't been worked on and I mean, it got released back in 2015 and there's no plans to upgrade it so I mean like I said guys play it one time and they said for five bucks you'll get you'll get five hours out of it you know I like I think when I played it through the first time I I got like Yeah, I think I got close to five hours playing through that, plus playing the uh, the New Game Plus mode that has the hard mode in it, so. Anyway, everybody on Twitch here, hang out. We're going to go, uh, you know, do the usual thing that we do, everybody on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube. I usually say YouTube and Facebook. Either way, as always, guys, everything's going to be in the description boxes down below. Be sure to share this, uh, sub to the channels. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Like you say, I read everything. I do reply to them as well if uh, someone does leave me a comment. And uh, until next time, take care. Have a good one.